Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part 52 and we are now going to go and uh, make way into this cave upstream or up the dry river stream. And in the last episode we just took on the um, spirit house and we got ourselves another heart container. We haven't really looked around um, very well around this area but there isn't really that much to look around at at the moment so... Um, the only thing that there is to do here at the moment is just to go into this river, or in this dried up river stream cave to uh, um, see what's inside. Uh, oh crap, this place looks very poisonous and like all these skeletons, damn, what's going on in here? Ooh, spooky. What business have you in Icarna Kingdom land where only the dead roam? I've come to eat some cheesecake, dude. Where, where's the cheesecake store, huh? Huh? Mr. Mustache Man? This is no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. I never said that I want to join the dead. What you want about? If that's the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play, and join the ranks of the dead. But I'm a level 19 Winterhold Guard, and I don't want to have to go join the ranks of the dead. I'm freaking invincible because I have the power of the ocarina. And with Flat Song, we can now, um, no, I'm not playing, oh, the, the song is soaring, what the hell? No, that's, no, it's not that, is it? Yeah. Play the Song of Storms that, uh, the other composer brother done, uh, or taught us, and, um, what? What is this? This song? N no, it can't be this song. Yeah, it's your brother's song, and you don't seem to like it that much. <laughs> and you're going into some kind of roly-poly, uh, kind of mid-air stance thing. I don't know what you're doing. But basically, you just used Harry Potter's invisibility cloak and turned invisible, and now the water has risen, uh, causing um, a flow of water which is now basically put water through the um, dried up river stream which now activates this trumpet like house and now you can see that the water wheel is now spinning and there goes the music <laughs> well that music sounds kind of freaky it sounds like something you would hear in a horror movie with a bunch of like with an evil girl or something or some kind of possessed girl has been taken over by some demonic uh, soul and these zombies don't seem to like the music either <laughs> do get down get jiggy with it uh, the, uh, what? there's an earthquake the ground is shaking is the moon crashing already? Uh, zombies are not um, looking very happy it, looks sound it sounds like they're masturbating but very heavily like uh, 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 uh. yeah you know what the f Oh. oh, they're going underground. Well, that's good. That means we don't have to. That means we can probably gain access to the house now without being raped by a bunch of zombies. <laughs> so that takes care of that problem. And those zombies are invincible in this game, unlike in Ocarina of Time. You can't actually kill them. Not even with fire arrows. I don't think you can kill them. Because. Well, actually, I think you can kill them, but they respawn whenever you leave the area, so. Yeah, that's why. Um, anyway, flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother for who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. I swear I know that symbol before. I swear I've seen that symbol before on top of his cap, the sun-like figure. I think it's an element or an essence in one of the Oracle games. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It's all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and ser sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I the only one who knows the way into the temple shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Icarna Castle waiting, to, waiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. 
and your request shall be accepted. So now that Flat has, or his brother Sharp has turned good and not evil, and now that uh, we've restored some of Icona Canyon, but peace has not been fully restored yet, as uh, this place is still a lingering wasteland filled with, um, I don't know, freaking Gways, that's one thing. <laughs> um, and as you saw in the cutscene that the door unlocked, so... Well, basically that means that the little girl- Oh, wait, there is a little girl. She's standing over the river, and she's looking, ab observing the water. As if it's contaminated or something. <laughs> or as if she's fascinated to see water for once. Or it's like the first time she's seen water or something. I don't know. Oh no, she spotted us. Dude, we didn't even make it out into the clearing. How did you see us? We round the corner of the house. Maybe she has like some kind of sense or maybe she heard our footsteps but the best thing to do is you can wait for her to come out the front door but what I like to do is just place a bomb in front of the door and she'll come out she'll react to the bomb sound and um, she'll open the door straight away so you don't have to wait around for her to come out herself because that takes about 10 minutes for her to come out in the game time which is kind of long to wait around for so I wouldn't bother just place a bomb in front of the door it makes things a lot easier and this is the first time we get a look at on the inside of the bo music box house. Hey guys, what's for supper tonight? I've got a very hot date with Nicki Minaj. Hell yeah! <laughs> well, she probably wouldn't be able to fit in that seat, to be honest. Her butt's way too big. <laughs> um, she'll probably break the chair. Okay, <laughs> enough information. Um. Now come downstairs and well this part in the well this part the first time I played this game freaked the friggin shit out of me. Look, holy Jesus, man! It's a zombie inside a cupboard. What the hell is going on here? This girl has been keeping a zombie hostage. Wow, she's evil. Well, anyway, what you want to do here is play the song. No, not a pony song. Damn it. Well, no, she's not evil. She's actually saving the world from zombies eating humans. So yeah, you're doing a very good job, keeping a zombie hostage in your cupboard. <laughs> but no, this is no zombie. What? It was just a mask. Who is this guy? It looks like some kind of, kind of laboratorian or something. I don't know. Scientist. Father! This cutscene's kind of cute. I, I, I know, I get touched by this. Pamela. What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You had a dream. Uh, you had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Pamela. Aw. And uh, he dropped the remains. Which is now ours. We now have the toilet roll mask. We call this the Gibdo mask. This is like something that was made out of toilet paper or something. <laughs> this mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. He also had a mummified teddy bear in here as well. Oh, and a dead fish, and a bucket, and a broom. Oh. Well, that looks like some kind of ninja. And it looks like some kind of reminiscence to our Garrow mask. Can we read his diary by any chance? Because uh, I, th I thought you could read his diary actually, but I don't know if you can. Because I know you can do some things in here. Well, let's see what they have to say now. I think they say something different, but I'm not sure. It's always good to check. Uh, I don't think so. Right, so uh, let's make way upstairs because there's nothing else to do in here. We've got what we wanted and now we're out. I also want to pay my respects to Nelson Mandela um, who died, as you all very well may know, <laughs> that, uh, well I'm pretty sure everyone knows that Nelson Mandela died last Friday. I just want to pay my respects to him and say that he was a very good man and I wish that uh, he has a very good afterlife in heaven and I uh, hope he's doing well up there because he was a very good man. But anyway, I just want, well, I just wanted to say that and uh, end off the video because um, there is a very big uh, side quest trading sequence we have to do in the next video and I really don't want to start that now until I've got all the equipment that is needed and which we do not have because we need magic beans. Plenty of bombs, plenty of Deku sticks, lots, lots of things contained in our bottle, most of which we will actually get inside the dungeon that we're going into next. I would say it's kind of like a dungeon, 
it's basically just one big trading sequence. But um, yeah, we got to fill a lot of these bottles up filled with fish, potions, and hot water, and H2O, and all this crap that uh, we will be needing for the next area. So until then, take care everybody, see you all in the next video. This is NDM saying thanks for watching, and goodbye.